So two and a half months ago, I put $6,000 into AutoCake on PancakeSwap as an experiment to see how much passive income I could generate. After my first month, I made around $1,889, which was amazing. 440 of that was from the actual AutoCake rewards, and the rest of that was just from the price of the cake token going up. So I thought that was a pretty awesome result for just one month, and it gave me a lot more confidence in AutoCake and PancakeSwap, and so I was ready to go you know, kind of all in with a much larger amount and see what kind of results I could get using more money. I wanted to see if you put down a much larger amount on AutoCake, could you make enough to cover what would be most people's full-time jobs passively on AutoCake? So for the second month's experiment, I added an additional $21,000 into AutoCake, bringing my total amount invested on AutoCake to $29,000 thousand and ninety dollars i tried to get it at exactly twenty nine thousand but it was kind of hard to do that so i ended up with like an additional ninety dollars and since then i've left it in auto cake but i have kind of checked in on it because it was a larger amount uh just along the way each week just checking up seeing how much i've made seeing what the price was and different things like that so today i'm going to update how much i made after a month and a half of putting $29,000 into AutoCake. I'm gonna talk about the current state of AutoCake and if I think today is still a good time to jump into AutoCake. And in general, just kind of share some of the ups and downs of what's happened with my account over this last month and a half. So when I put that extra money in and I kind of started the experiment over, the price of one cake token was around $19. I didn't actually write down what the exact price was that day, unfortunately. I should have done that, but I, for whatever reason I didn't. Uh, but I did write down the date that I started it, so I went back on a chart and I just found that day and it was fluctuating all throughout the day up around $19.11. So in general, it was kind of in that area. I will say at that time in, in crypto, the market was definitely on an uptrend. I don't know if you remember, but a month and a half ago, everything was definitely going up in the crypto market and cake was the same way. It was like each day, is slowly just climbing up, going higher. Bitcoin was slack, you know, slowly climbing up, going higher. So it was a pretty good time to get into cake. Also, a month and a half ago when I started this all over, the APY for the auto cake pool was around 95%. The first few weeks, everything was pretty dang awesome. Like the price of my portfolio kept going up and up and up. I check it every day and then be like, oh, I'm at 30,000. Oh, I'm at 33,000. Oh, I'm at 35,000. And it kept growing and growing and growing until at one point the total amount I had staked in AutoCake was above $44,000, which was like, whoa. I started with 29,000, I have 44,000, which was crazy. And obviously I was super excited because I was making a ton of money doing AutoCake and I just thought, man, AutoCake is the best. But I was noticing that as the price of cake kept going up, the APY, for the auto cake pool kept going down. And a lot of people don't really understand why that happens. I see a lot of different comments on Reddit and people are like, why is the APY going down? Why does PancakeSwap keep lowering the APY? And it's not PancakeSwap that's lowering the APY. How the auto cake pool works is it is giving out a specific amount of rewards. And if there's two people in that pool, then they are getting all of the rewards. But if there's 10 people in that pool, then it's split between those 10 people if there's 100 people, it's split between those 100 people. If there's 10,000, it's split between that 10,000. So the more people are jumping in this pool, the more the rewards are split and the less there is to go around. And because of that, the APY slowly drops over time as more people are staking in the auto cake pool. Usually this isn't a problem because the more people that are staking in the auto cake pool means the more people that are holding cake means the price of cake is probably going up means you're still making a ton of money. Which obviously, in my case, I was making a ton of money, so I really wasn't bothered by the fact that APY was going down because it just meant I was making a ton of money. But as most crypto stories go, right when you think everything is about to come together and it's all going good, something crazy happens that you could never anticipate, everything falls apart, and it ends in total disaster. What happened for me was the broader crypto market started to weaken. We saw the price of Bitcoin dip a pretty good amount in a single day, and my gains just slowly dissipated over, you know, like the period of a week or two weeks. Obviously, if you're somebody who's been in crypto for a long time, this isn't like a surprising occurrence. This is like a pretty regular occurrence where the price goes up really high, everything's looking good, and then you have a pullback, you have a period where everyone's like, it's all falling apart, and then the price goes even higher, and then you have a pullback and it's all falling apart, and then the price goes even higher, 
and it just happens over and over and over again. Personally, I think the current pullback we're going through is temporary. I think we're gonna go to even higher highs, not just in cake, but in the broader crypto market in general. And we're gonna see a pretty awesome bull run in the coming six months or whatever. But also keep in mind that nobody really knows what's gonna happen in crypto. We're all just kind of making educated guesses. Nobody actually has any sort of inside information on like this is gonna happen or this is gonna happen. My personal opinion is the current bull run we're in is not quite over yet. And no matter what happened in crypto right now, like I'm not super worried. Like if we went into a crypto winner right now from here, yeah, it would kind of suck. It wouldn't be super fun, but there are always different things you can do to build wealth and generate income. The gains won't be as crazy high as they are during you know bull run seasons, but there's still awesome methods out there to produce income, especially passive income in the crypto space and outside of the crypto space. Anyway, to get back to AutoCake, along the way, I did decide to capture some of the gains I was making through AutoCake and redistribute them to other different projects and experiments. One of those was like the Pancake Squad launch. I just took some of my cake out so that I could have it available to you know use for the Pancake Squad launch. And then I took a little bit more money out to test this new insane experiment I'm doing right now, which I'm actually really, really excited about because it's working crazy crazy good and i'll be talking about that one in a couple weeks i'm really really excited to share i just want to test it out a little bit more but it's like one of the most exciting things i've ever come across in this crypto space and i'm really stoked on it especially for like generating passive income because it's generating tons of passive income but keep an eye out for that video it's going to come out in like maybe two or three weeks so anyways after one month and a half of using autocake i was able to make three thousand one hundred forty six dollars directly from autocake so that has nothing to do with the price appreciation of cake going up or down. That's just how much cake I was able to generate from auto cake using the money that I had. That's not the full picture though. Last time I included the price appreciation of cake in my total amount that I made. But this time, although the price of cake did go you know, way up at one point, at the time of this recording, it's actually back down to about the same as where I started. So I didn't really make any money from the price appreciation of cake. But the cool part is that even though the price of cake isn't you know, way higher than it was when I started, I still ended up making over three grand just because I had my money staked in auto cake, which is pretty cool. A lot of my other investments didn't do anything and this one was able to generate me $3,000 in passive income over a month and a half. Obviously though, the very best outcome would have been had I sold everything at the top and captured like a $14,000, $15,000 gain. I didn't do that and you could just drive yourself crazy in crypto being like, oh, well, if I would have done this or if I would have invested in this coin or well, if I had gotten Bitcoin in 2011. But the reality is you never could have known what was going to happen. I couldn't have known that the price of cake was gonna drop. It is what it is. I still made a pretty decent profit and I'm happy with that. It's also important to note that today, specifically the day I'm recording this, the market is doing pretty poorly. Pretty much everything's down in crypto today. So that kind of plays into the total amount I made. If I would have recorded this even just yesterday, I would have made quite a bit more and I'd have been able to say, hey, look how much I made. Uh, but I didn't record it yesterday. I recorded it today and today's when I ended up capturing my gains and I didn't make as much. But again, it is what it is. If you remember at the beginning of this video, I mentioned the APY was around 95% when I started this a month and a half ago. Today at the time of recording this, the APY is at 79%. So it's actually dropped in a month and a half quite a bit just because a lot of people are staking in the auto cake pool. I think we had some different people move over from farms into auto cake just because they cut the rewards to farms uh, in half or I don't know. They cut it by a decent amount. Maybe some people filtered into auto cake from there. Maybe just more people are using the auto cake pool that were holders of cake. At the beginning of my journey, the APY was going down as the price was going up, but currently the price is about the same when I started and the APY is much, much lower. So I don't know where these extra people ended up coming from, but in general, 79% is still a crazy amount to you know be making. So it's not like I can really complain about only making 79% when traditional stock market, they're like stoked when they make 10%. But I know a lot of people are wondering, is now a good time to still jump into auto cake? In general, like I don't give financial advice on this channel or tell you guys what to do just because I don't know your guys' situations. I can only share what I personally am doing or what I personally would do. I'm personally lowering the amount that I have in auto cake, but I'm still keeping a decent amount in auto cake. And if I had to start over today, I'd still put money into auto cake just because I like the pancake swap platform. I love what they're doing. I feel like they keep making smart move after smart move. And I could see this platform continuing to grow. And like I mentioned, 79% might not be 105% like it used to be or 150% like it used to be, but it's still a lot of money. And over the last two and a half months, 
I've gotten pretty consistent gains from auto kick. So I'm willing to keep doing that for the near future. I am testing out an alternative way to use auto kick. It's like a different platform that allows you to connect into auto kick, but it uses a specific farming strategy to produce extra income. So you can actually produce a much higher APY. I'm not ready to share that yet or talk about it yet, but I'm getting ready to do an experiment where I'm gonna put a certain amount of money on auto cake and a certain amount of money using this farming strategy and just see which one ends up producing a higher yields overall over the course of a month. If you haven't watched my video on the Pancake Squad NFT collection coming out on Pancake Swap, you should check it out because I'm pretty stoked about that launch. It's gonna be really, really soon. So you're gonna to wanna to get set up for that if that's something you're wanting to jump in on. And I'm really excited overall for the future of PancakeSwap and just what they're gonna to continue to do and how they're gonna to continue to innovate. I think it's gonna be a fun, you know, wild ride for anyone that's like participating. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I genuinely try to go through and answer everyone, but I like keep getting more and more comments every single day. So it's like really crazy to try to keep up with them all. I am kind of doing a good job, but I'm also falling behind a little bit. So if it takes a little bit extra longer for me to get back to you, it's just because I'm just getting a crazy amount of comments right now and it's getting difficult to keep up. If this content was helpful and you wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it if you wanna be notified each time I actually release a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.